Hello and welcome to Radio.co. If you are completely new to Radio.co then don't worry, as this video will expertly and patiently guide you through the basics of using our incredible, user-friendly and professional internet radio broadcasting platform. Even if you are completely new to the world of internet broadcasting, you'll honestly feel right at home and be broadcasting online in no time at all. This video is brought to you by Radio.co, the ultimate solution for creating your dream internet radio station. Activate your free seven day trial today by heading to Radio.co and clicking on the pricing page. So first of all, Radio.co is an entirely cloud based software platform that gives you all of the online tools and guidance you need to easily broadcast over the internet from anywhere in the world to anywhere in the world. Using nothing but your everyday computer and an internet connection, you'll be able to log into your Radio.co account and begin effortlessly putting content online, especially with all of our advanced features that will make you feel like you are legitimately running your own traditional radio station. You'll have full control and freedom over what you put on air, and we'll give you the means to do just that. Anyway, enough preamble, in this demonstration today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to get started with your very own radio station by highlighting the basics to getting you on air, such as how to upload content, how to build your own shows and how to schedule said shows. I'll also discuss a couple of ways how people can easily listen to your station once it's live. If you have any questions following this video then do contact our team via studio at radio.co and they'll be here to help as soon as possible. So, what you can see here is our Radio.co dashboard, the welcome screen of your radio station in many ways, as it will show you how many people you have currently listening, how much story space you are using, what shows or tracks you have coming up, and, most importantly, whether your station is on air or not. As I said earlier, our platform is entirely cloud-based, so as soon as you turn your station on air, it'll remain on air, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week as it's being powered by us. Even if you lose all access to power or the internet, your station will remain broadcasting as intended. But there's nothing stopping you from turning it on and off again, you know, whenever you wish. Here you will find the connection status, and what this refers to is the ability for a DJ or host to connect to the platform and broadcast a live show in real time. Basically, is there a live DJ currently connected right now? Can your audience hear what a live person is saying or playing right now? If this displays connected or live, then the answer is yes. Or if it displays not connected, that means the station is in automation. Now, I won't demonstrate how this looks right now, but you can find many tutorials on this matter within the Radio.co Help Center by visiting help.radio.co. The first of the basics to demonstrate now is the ability to upload media, which is easily done by clicking the Add Media button at the top right of the page. You can upload anything you like, such as music, interviews, podcasts, commercials, jingles, as long as the file is in MP3 or an AAC. Once uploaded, it'll be stored in your media library, which again is cloud-based, so it doesn't matter what computer you log into your account from, your media will always be accessible as it is tied to your subscription. From here, you can tag your media by giving it a label, which acts like a folder really, as it lists all the tracks you have under each label you assign. You could tag your tracks in music genres, decade, taught topics, whatever you like. The feature is there to help you organize your content. Anything you upload will of course contribute to your storage allowance in your chosen Radio.co subscription plan. The purpose of uploading media to Radio.co is so you can build playlists that will automatically and continuously broadcast around the clock. So in order to enable this, you will need to build playlists. You can build as many playlists as you like, and each one can be as long or as short as you like. Likewise, you can fill each one with whatever content you wish. You'll then be able to schedule these playlists to play whenever you want. Now, you will actually begin with a playlist on your account already called the default playlist, and this acts like your auto DJ. As long as you have at least one MP3 or AAC file in the default playlist, in your, and your station is on air, it'll automatically start playing any time you have a gap in your schedule. Now what this means for you is that you don't have to schedule playlists every hour of every day if you don't want to. You could leave huge gaps in the schedule throughout the day and the default playlist will fill in all the gaps you leave, making it far easier to manage a 24 hour radio station. To build your own playlists, just click on the create playlist button. Give your playlist a name, add a logo or a colour if you wish, and then click save. 
Now here you'll be able to search for the names of specific files you've uploaded or work your way down the list of files you've uploaded. And then you can click to either add that file to the start, add it to the end of your playlist, or if you don't want either, you can simply drag your files in whichever position you want. Essentially, everything on the right hand side of the screen is your playlist, and of course, the order in which these tracks are presented is the order these tracks will play. This is your show, so you can fill this playlist with whatever you like, such as music, talk content, or jingles, or commercials. If you're happy with a simple playlist like that, then you can click save, but there are a couple of other things you can do also, such as adding in random tracks to play within your playlist, and that's done by using tags. Now, by placing a specific tag into your playlist, the software can choose a track from that specific tag and insert it into your playlist. And although it is random, it'll select one that hasn't played yet. You can even build a playlist made up entirely of tags if you wished, and the software will fill in the gaps for you. You will also find a tab called Recordings, and this is where you will find stored MP3 files of live shows that you scheduled to record, which is what you can do if you subscribe to at least our standard plan. These recordings can be inserted into playlists to repeat past shows, or you could even download these files to be saved as an MP3 file onto your computer. Here you will find a tab called Voice Tracks, and it's this tool you can use to give off the impression that your automated playlists are actually live with a live presenter, when in fact they are links that were recorded prior and placed into your playlist. This is how a lot of mainstream radio is programmed these days, and you have the opportunity to do it too. This can allow you to feature your voice or the voice and personalities of your DJs more prominently throughout your day. Or week, which is arguably a far better listening experience than just back-to-back -back music 24-7. Plus, it'll allow DJs who don't want to do live shows to still feature on the station without the fear of going live. To use this feature, click Add Voice Track. Select your chosen microphone from the drop-down menu and then click on the large red microphone icon. Upon doing this, you will have 10 minutes to use up, and it's up to you how you use that time and what you record, which could be simple links in between songs, recording the daily news, hosting a quick interview, or anything in between. And once saved, you can place this voice track within your playlists. Once you're happy with how your playlist looks, simply press save. Now it's time to get the show on air by creating an event on your schedule. I personally find it easier selecting the time you want the show to start and dragging it to the time you want it to end, but you can also click on the Create Event button in the top right. Once you've decided upon the time of your show, you'll want to confirm the following. What type of event or show is it? Let's say it's a playlist to begin with. Next, decide which specific playlist it's going to be from the drop-down menu. Now, confirm the time you've chosen is correct. Next, decide on what days of the week this show is scheduled for. It could just be that one single day, but by selecting other days of the week, it'll also schedule this show across them too. Finally, decide on whether this is going to be a one-off show or whether it's going to be repeated on a weekly, bi-weekly or monthly basis. And if you do decide either of those is the case, then input a date within the next two years and it will schedule this event every week up until that point. And when you're happy, click Create Event. Give it a second or two, and you'll now have your first playlist scheduled. And with the system being cloud-based, as long as your station is on air, this show will start at that exact time and end at that exact time as intended. Do keep in mind that you can edit your event as much as you like by clicking on it and amending any details you wish, like the days it's on, the length of time, and even the playlist that will play. But say you wanted to do a live show instead, well, with a live radio host playing music or talking on air in real time. Well, to do this, create the event or edit an existing one as we're doing here and select the second event type option, Live DJ. Now you'll see a drop down menu containing all the names of the users you have associated with your account, with you obviously being one of the first options. Our system is entirely remote, so you can invite people from anywhere in the world to broadcast live on your station as long as they have an internet connection. So select the DJ you want to grant permission to go live for this show. The system will only allow that specified host to go live. Next, confirm the backup playlist that you want, and this will automatically go on air if your DJs encounter any connection issues, whether that is a loss of power, internet, or even if they are late starting the show on time. Again, confirm the time, 
the days and the weeks you want are correct. Now here you'll find a new option to record the broadcast and this is what I alluded to earlier, the ability to schedule your live broadcast to record. You may want to do this to convert a talk show you have into a podcast, to simply repeat the show on another day or just to archive it. Finally, click create event or save if you are editing an event like we are. Now on the schedule you will see confirmation of the time of the show, the DJ associated with the show and the planned backup playlist in case of emergencies. The third option for a show is a live relay which is simply the broadcasting of an existing online radio feed. So if there was another station online that you wanted to rebroadcast or share with your audience or even if you had a second station, this feature will allow you to share the feed from that other station. But there we have it, you have scheduled your first show with Radio.co and it wasn't that difficult was it? If you want to create a playlist, simply upload some media, build a playlist and decide upon the time it should play. And if it's a live show, just confirm the DJ you want and at what time and the software will ensure they can be heard. There is more involved in going live from the DJ's perspective, but as I said earlier in the video, you can find a fantastic tutorial on getting connected by using a free software called BUT from within help.radio.co. The final things to go over with you during this introductory video are the various ways people can easily listen to your station. The first and most basic option is the standard listen link, where as long as your station is on air, it'll instantly stream your station when it's clicked. So share it across social media or include it in any newsletters you may send. Additionally, you can use this link to submit to internet radio directories, which are locations on the internet that people use to specifically listen to internet radios around the world. We actually have an excellent help guide on over 30 directories you can submit your station to easily and quickly, so look out for it again on our help centre. If you have your own website now and or you want to create one in the future, then you'll be able to make use of the web player, which is an embed code you can very easily paste onto your website. It'll display artwork for your content, your station logo, a photo of you, anything related to your station will be on display for those streaming it via your website. Expanding on this, we can actually build you your very own mobile apps for both Android and iOS. A mobile app that is dedicated to your station and your station only. This will be called whatever you like and only display your branding and information and those that download it worldwide will be immersed in your station in the most efficient, accessible way possible. If you are subscribed to our light or standard plans, then the apps will cost an additional $35 per month or $350 per year to add on to your account. Or if you subscribe to our plus or premium plans, then they are included at no extra cost. Likewise, we can also create your own Alexa skill for Amazon Echo devices to allow people to shout the name of your station into their smart speakers to begin streaming it. Again, if you are subscribed to our light or standard plans, then the Alexa skill is an extra $10 per month or $100 per year. But if you subscribe to our plus or premium plans, then again, they are included at no extra cost. And finally, regardless of how people listen to your station, you will be able to track your station's performance within your statistics, which will showcase an abundance of information relating to your listeners. You'll be able to see which countries your listeners are from, what devices or web browsers they're using to listen, even what the most popular time of day across the average week. All this information is accessible to help guide you and your station in the most prosper prosperous direction. So, for example, if you found a lot of people were listening through their Android web browser, then perhaps providing them with an official Android app would allow more people to listen for longer. All statistics will show your station's performance for a maximum of 60 days, and you'll have the ability to view statistics for a specific period of time as well as a daily, weekly and monthly report. Each report can be downloaded as often as you wish. And there we have it. I know it's a lot to process immediately, but this is just a quick crash course on the basics of using Radio.co. Sure, there are a lot of other advanced features that will give you more options for creating and managing your radio station, and there are other elements of internet broadcasting that require more time and thought, like sourcing a license, for example. But to at least get started, you now know everything you need to turn your station on air and get something broadcasting. And see, it's not as difficult as it initially seems. 
Of course, once you are up and running, the support team are always on hand to answer any questions you have. Not to mention that a lot of members of the team have worked for many years within the radio industry. So if you want any guidance on how to make the most of your internet radio station, then again, the team are just a message away to make this worthwhile and successful for you. If you want to give this a go yourself, then you can head to our website www.radio.co and click on the pricing page to find all of our subscription plans. And by clicking on the Create Your Station button underneath these plans, you'll be able to activate a free 7 day trial to help you get it off the ground. Thanks for watching, take care, and happy broadcasting. Want to take your radio station to the next level? Well, here at Radio.co, we don't just specialise in launching new radio stations, but elevating existing ones too. For example, do you have an internet radio station that doesn't seem to be hitting that audience you want? Are you unsure whether the branding or the content you've created is right? Are there just too many industry buzzwords and equipment types that you can't get your head around? Allow me to offer my expertise. For just $50, you can schedule in a 50-minute consultation with me to go through every aspect of your station with the goal of refocusing and revitalising your efforts to mould it into something that you're truly happy with. Even if you don't have a radio station or podcast yet, but you'd you know like some guidance on how to get off to a strong start, then please don't hesitate to get in touch. Don't let stress and small audience numbers get you down. Get in touch via studio at radio.co and we'll put our heads together to turn this thing around.